Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What is happening with leaks right now in FC24? We have news about footies cards, which we don't think is this Friday. We think it's probably next Friday. We don't have team of the tournament leaks though, and that's the promo that we actually think is tomorrow. We have FC25 leaks being posted on Twitter as well. There is so much going on, it's confusing. I wanna break it down for you guys today though and look at everything that has been talked about. I also wanna look at this brand new season. Guys, since I'm in a totally different time zone, I've never been able to do this before, but we're gonna look through the brand new season that just released literally minutes ago as I'm recording this video right now, season eight, and in the description here, it mentions that footies is not this Friday, it is next Friday, but I see footies icons, regular, and the premium designs here in the season. So I'm very excited to look into that. We'll get a fresh live look into that new season and what other content might be coming today as well. So if you're excited for it, let's get into it. Drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now before we do that, let us go back to yesterday on Wednesday and check a couple of things out in the SBC section. First, with our Wednesday upgrade pack, it was the PTG, the knockouts upgrade. And to be honest, this is probably one worth doing. All of these upgrade packs are kind of worth a shot, right? At this end of the year stage, getting a guaranteed promo player from the current squad that is in packs, that is always a perk. We love those. 84 and 87 rated squads. I think it's coming in at like 118K. If I double check the price point here on a footbin just to make sure things are working, double check, bang, they are. 118,000 coins. It's two squads. It's pretty easy. The 82 plus player pick is, is of course out there. Uh, and craftable as well so we can go ahead and use that and maybe the 86 double to get some of the higher rated for the 87 rated squad though pretty good sbc there not too much else to say about it except it's there and it's decent of course the normal refresh the sbcs like the 86 double that we just mentioned and of course we had this surprise player sbc yesterday as well the international stars second release we had laporte after the spain uh spain france game who just got a dynamic image by the way and we have Declan Rice. Now, I posted this on Twitter right after the uh, SPC was dropped because I bet you are thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. Where's the fourth play style plus on this Declan Rice card? If this card had a fourth play style plus and he was the same price, he would be absolutely mint. But since he's lacking that fourth play style plus, it just kind of, I don't know, makes it feel like it's maybe not that worth it. But in all honesty, he's still going to be a really good card in game for such a cheap price. I believe he's 120, oh, not even that much. He's 92,000 coins for a card that had a team of the season version that was so cracked and so good. I'm sure a lot of you guys have him red though. So maybe this card isn't worth it to you if you have the red Declan Rice tots already, or maybe you have the regular version. But just for a fun version of him, which again, if Laporte just got a dynamic image update, you would imagine this Declan Rice would be getting a dynamic image at some point as well. So for 90 to 100K, only two squads, it is an easy complete, just maybe not the most crazy meta card. But again, it's the second in a row now, these international stars that has been very, very affordable. That seems to be where they're trying to go with these SBCs is to give everybody a chance, whether you have a lot of coins and a lot of fodder or not, to give everybody a chance at getting one of these new um, and upgraded, or not upgraded, but yeah, new upgraded is the right word, new players from the winning teams of the Euro semifinals games. I'm guessing they're gonna do one for the final as well upcoming on Sunday, maybe even the third place game. We'll have to see. So I like the content again. The idea here, freaking W, the live, quick, fast paced additions for somebody who played well in the game, representing the winning nation. I absolutely love that. So let's look at the rest of the content from yesterday because there was an objective. Now, before we get into the season pass, I'm not gonna look, don't look, don't look, don't look. I saw a footies card, I saw a footies card. Anyways, this is what I wanted to look at first. The One Nation Champs Germany objective that was dropped. This one is the biggest head scratcher out of everything. Why are we getting a French live card when they are out of the competition? He only has three playstyle pluses as well. This objective totally confuses me because this card, yeah, finesse plus technical power header, five star skills. Yeah, cool, fun card if you're French and if you maybe are a Inter Milan fan, you maybe you want this card. But I think for most people, going through the whole weekend league set and grind of getting 12 wins with the German team, which a Brazilian team, that would be okay, right? A German team, 
probably pretty difficult. I'm thinking back to my cup team that I had during the German Cup, and it was not very good. So I don't know how I would compete in this weekend league without having to go and buy some players. I haven't even looked at German cards in the market. I'm assuming that they are up a little bit since we did actually get this objective. Some of those middle to cheaper tier ones, just because people are buying those and adding them in. I mean, hey, if you want to give it a shot, at least play uh, Foot Champs Qualies because the packs are the best part about this now. Instead of the player that you get as the reward, the packs are good. But it's a little confusing, confusing that we're getting a Taram when France is out of the competition. Again, that's why I think the timing on this is so important because they're live and upgrading cards. This one without the upgrades. And I don't know why he doesn't have four play style pluses because they won three games before they got knocked out. So again, some confusion here with this card in my opinion, but I still like the opportunity that we have to go and get more packs from that game mode and from uh, that objective set. Now, before we go look at the season, I do want to take a look at some of the most recent updates and upgrades to some of these live cards because we did have some of those yesterday. Casillas got that 99 diving stat that he was deserved his fourth goal, uh, 99 stat overall boost. Enzo, Alvarez, Lo Celso, Martinez, all getting the five star, five star boost on their cards. No stat upgrades. Uh, except they gave, La wait, what? They gave stat upgrades? Oh, they gave a stat upgrade to Enzo. And they gave a stat upgrade to Martinez as well. Oh, I like that. Wait, they gave a stat upgrade to all these guys. Interesting. Did they get five star, five star, and a plus one? Hold on a second. I need to go check the Enzo, not the Enzo. I want to check the Julian Alvarez. Is he actually 97 rated or is foot.gg bugging right here? Um, Because I thought it was a plus one or... Is Julian Alvarez 5'5 five, five and plus 1? 97 rated. He's 4'5. Okay, so I guess in the upgrade path, it did say 5 star, 5 star, or plus 1, and they gave him a plus 1. So unless I'm bugging, uh, I guess I thought all those were going to be, if they didn't have 5 star, 5 star, I thought they were going to get a plus 1. Evidently, that is not the case. I guess uh, some of those got plus 1s as well, which is actually freaking sick. I love to see that. Now, some other upgrades that came in. From the Copa America game, you had Jonathan David getting an upgrade. You had Johnston and Stefan Estacchio for getting upgrades as well, just for playing the game and being having an appearance on the pitch. And then, of course, Montiel, Mascherano, Tevez, DePaul, he got a five-star, five-star boost. He did not get a plus one. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, and they gave Zanetti the uh, jockey plus fourth play style there, there. And then for the England upgrades that they have just put out on the game most recent, Jordan Pickford. So goalies didn't get a five star, five star boost. He got a plus one overall, which takes him to 99 in a third stat category, which is crazy. Hunter Gallagher gets the plus one to skill move. So he's actually still evolvable. Good. That's actually nice. I think for those of us who haven't done that Evo glory yet, you could put him in there. That's cool. Saka gets 5-5, five, five. Walker, Gomez, and Watkins all get 5-5. Five, five. Same thing with Stones. Interesting. So they gave the Argentinian cards plus ones, but they gave the English cards 5-star, five 5-star. Five I'm so confused as to how this works because, yes, it is. Win semifinal is 5-5 five, five or plus one overall. Interesting. Maybe I'm missing the rhyme or the rhythm here. Let me know down in the comments. But uh, how, yeah, I'm, maybe I'm missing it. But I don't know. That's kind of crazy to me. Anyways, Rooney gets plus two shooting. That's his 99 stat. Carlton gets plus six passing going in 99 passing. That's a crazy looking card. Slide tackle plus for actually Cole and rapid plus for Shearer, that objective, and McManaman for quick step plus. So a lot of upgrades coming in there. One last thing I did want to mention is in the late game, Colombia beating Darwin Nunez and Uruguay 1-0. That means Luis Diaz is either going to go 5-5 or go to a 98 rated card. Uh, same thing for Borja. He's going to get an upgrade there as well. Nunez is going to go to a 98 though because he did see the pitch. But uh, that Darwin Nunez card is fully upgraded and no longer in the tournament. I was, I'm a little bummed because I would have wished the upgrade for Bentancur and or Araujo would have come through. But it did not. Unfortunately, after a really, really crazy game, we've got Colombia and Argentina in the final of the Copa America. So let's go look at the season now, guys. This is what I've wanted to see. This is brand new. This is like a content drop in its own. Fabinho, level five, four playstyle pluses, 80 shooting. Can he play center back? He can. He is four star, four star, medium high work rates. That's a that's a decent card. Hopefully we'll be able to acquire him pretty quickly here. He's footies premium, which I don't know if it says anywhere. Does that give him a 
boosted chemistry result on the card. I'm sure that's going to be somewhere in the menus. That is usually what that design means. Footies has arrived, complete with footies player objectives weekly and other seasonal ob objectives to earn XP. It's a 41-day season. Okay, what else do we have in here? Oh my gosh, there's players everywhere. Jarees Mertens with power shot, finesse, pinged, and rapid with insane attacking stats. Five-star skills, center forward, striker, and cam. 96 composure, 99 balance, 99 short pass, 99 jumping, and stamina. Very good card here. All right, sweet. Love that. Footy's premium as well. Guru Ritin, who's got finesse, whipped pass, first touch, and quick step. Laura Card, she's four-star, five-star, high, high work rates. I remember her gold card earlier this year was cracked. This one's probably going to be pretty good as well. We love that for, what is this, level nine? Three players by level nine. Destiny Udogi. Diani. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Destiny Udogi, I haven't used this card in a minute. He was so good earlier on this year during Future Stars. High, high work rates. Four star, four star. He's a regular footies design. So is Diani. How much is she? She 5'5". Five, five. Five star, four star, whipped pass, technical, quick step, and Trivella. Guys, this is insane. The players that they're giving here are incredible. Like, some of them statistically are insane. Other ones are just good. But the selection of players and the quantity of players is mad. Abamyang with 99 pace, four five, finesse, rapid, and Tiki Taka. I love this. I love this so far. This is just giving you so many fun players to try out with high end game level ratings. Level 20, we have an Ansu Fati. Can we get a five-star, five-star player? No, we're still 5-4. He's got, or sorry, he's got technical Tiki Taka, ping pass, and power shot for an Ansu Fati Barcelona card. Interesting. All right, let's see. Where do we keep going here? Oh my goodness, this is the Rashford, man. Level 22? Wait, what? Only level 22. How many levels are there? You get that Rashford card? Okay, we're getting far ahead of ourselves. Rashford's level 22, and he's got technical, rapid, power shot, and acrobatic with 97 pace, 96 shooting. Whoa. Okay, is he 5'5"? Five, five? He's 5'4". Five, wow, can we not get any 5'5 five, five players here? I like that he's striker. I like that he's left wing as well. 91 composure is a little bit low, but 99 heading accuracy. We're probably going to get this card in like two weeks. I would imagine two and a half weeks-ish if it's a 41-day season and this is like halfway through. Okay, that's interesting. Oberdorf, anticipate long ball press proven and oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, that's a transfer card. She is no longer playing for Wolfsburg. She's playing for FC Bayern Munich. Okay, I haven't even been looking at some of these packs. 86 double, 87 double, we're level 26, 85 times 4, 87 times 4. Bon Mati at level 32, a free Bon Mati. For quick step, technical, incisive, and power shot. Guys, you know it's the end of the season, almost the end of the year, um, when these types of players are literally free from the objective season. That's that's mad. Is she 5'5? Five, five? She is not 5'5. Five, five. She's four star, five star. Wow, five foot three. I forgot about that. I didn't even use her team of the season card, which so many people did. Maxed out 99 dribbling. So many other 99 individual stats on that card there. Alright, let's keep going. We got 84 times 20. Whoa. Garincha, alternate reality icon Garincha? Wait a second. Is that the wrong card? What card design is that? Alternate reality icon Garincha. All right, I'm going to have to figure out what these alternate reality icons are. Wasn't that the icon design that was leaked like ages ago during Team of the Year? Where people were talking about alternate reality. Trickster Plus, whipped past technical and quick step and still not five, four, five star, five star. But he has 99 dribble and 99 passing. What does it say in here? He's got every single ball control playstyle except for press proven. He's got finesse regular. Uh, his dribbling is going to be nuts. And passing. Oh my gosh. Just straight 99s. Besides agility in all the dribbling and the passing categories. Okay. I'm really curious as to what this alternate reality icon is. I need more info. And then there's the Erling Brown Holland. Is he 5'5"? Five five? There we go. 5-5 five, five Erling Holland. Finesse, rapid, press, proven aerial. That's going to be busted. 98 physical, 99 shooting, 98 pace. I will see you in 41 days from now. Uh, probably, honestly, like 30 days-ish to get this Holland card. And so we'll be here in like mid-August. But that's, that's nuts. That is crazy. All 99s in the shooting category. Basically, all 99s in the physical. 99 reactions, composure. That is just a fun end game Holland. Lacking playstyles though. Four playstyle pluses, but only four regular other playstyles. 
interesting. You would have thought maybe like chip shot or I don't know, maybe like first eh, first touch probably isn't applicable. Anyways, that's the 99 Holland card at the end of the season. I don't know what that alternate reality icon is. Is there anything else here in the menus that talks about that? Because that's that's something here that I find really interesting. Refreshed rewards. Maybe we can have a quick peek in that section of the game. This is like a content drop on a Friday is what it feels like. I'm never awake for this. Rivals, your end of the season rewards are available. Hold on, let me look at champs rewards first. I want to go to these. I want to see the pack code because that pack code that was added, we want to confirm here. Let's see. The player picks are still the same. Okay, these rewards aren't updated yet. These are the exact same. It still shows ultimate tots. All right, that's a 94 ultimate tots. I think that's the same that it was before though. Let me go above this and just make sure. Uh, 94 plus ultimate tots champs, top zero nations packs. Yeah, I think this is not updated yet. Maybe it's going to update soon. Uh, let me claim my rivals really quick and see if that's changed. I know some of you guys probably already can see this, but since this is live, first thing, Elite Division, Festival of Football, boom. We'll take our rewards. Thank you very much. Boom. Thank you for the TFO. We don't love that. Thank you. Okay, we went back only one division. Only one division. That is it. What do we get for the weekly reward upgrade for the, uh, not Elite Division, for the Division 1? Preview rewards or the reward upgrade we get a 94 plus ptg make your mark or team of the tournament player pick whoa so in packs promo this friday you will be able to get rewards next thursday with the live impacts cards in that player pick that's nice 100k uh you got the prime gold wait what about for this do you get two player picks no untradeable still one player pick but double the regular packs you've got 87 doubles 85 times fours and there it is, the 94 times 3 PTG Make Your Mark or Team of the Tournament Pack Untradeable. That's Division 1, Option 2. You have XP in there as well. Uh, that's pretty mad. That is pretty mad. Reward Upgrade Option 1, show me that Option 2. Wait, this says 92 plus all tots for the Elite Division? Yeah, okay, so some of these are not showing correctly. The Elite Division rewards are not right. That's the old ones. Uh, you can see though, as in Division 1 that I just looked at, those were rewards that were definitely updated and brand new. Same thing here with Division 2. 94 plus PTG in the player pick, and then 94 plus in the pack as well. So I think we have a couple of rewards that maybe need to be updated yet still. Maybe it's still in the process of that happening. But um, that's that's nice, I'll be honest. Rivals We Are FC. I guess We Are FC is the name of the season. I'm still so curious about this, uh, this new icon. Maybe EA is going to give us some more info on that today. I need some more info on the alternate reality icons because right now I'm seeing nothing in the menus and I'm super duper curious. All I see here is the objective ladder stuff. So interesting, interesting, interesting. Wait, what does it say? Earn a select footies players in the ladder and combine them to unlock a footies hero via objectives. XP are available throughout dedicated objectives each week. Unlock a footies hero in objectives. Where's this at? Under the live tab? One Nation Champs, Seasonal. Whoa! Footies Alex Scott and Dirk Kite and Al Oweyrin. Assist 10 goals using Ansu Fadi. Uh, you have to use Rashford, you have to use Oberdorf, and you have to use Oberdorf, Rashford, and... Okay, so a culmination of everything to get some really good packs. And let me see this Al Oweyrin. Footies Al Oweyrin, but he's the... Europa, what the, uh, Finesse Plus, Rapid, Relentless, and Trickster Plus, Bora Car Design, that is definitely not the footies, oh, guys, look, it's Udi's, it even says up there in the top, <laughs> Udi's Hero, Aloe Red. all right, that's interesting, 5 star, 4 star, I'm sure the car design is just bugged, is Dirt Kite the same way, yeah, Udi's, guys, we were talking about this for ages because it's not foot anymore, right, it's just Ultimate Team, they're actually calling it Udi's. Ah, that's so funny. All right. Uh, power header, finesse, incisive, and technical on Dirt Kite. Nice card there. Yeah, we just need the card designs to be a little bit different. I'm guessing they're just going to be like the alternate reality Garincha. It'll be like a hero design. But that's really, really interesting because um, that footies icon design was on that season screen. But it is not in here. I'm really curious about that. So... Yeah, I didn't even look into the specific objectives for those players, but I'm guessing that Dirk Kite and Alex Scott are kind of the same way. Yeah, use Fabinho, Mertens, Riton, and um, yeah, those three, and then combine all of them into a squad to get Alex Scott, Dirk Kite, 
and Saeed Alawiran. So, not bad. I mean, not the most crazy meta cards, but that's a good season. So many good, fun players to use. I know by the time we get to the end of the season, that's going to be like, ah, hey, that's kind of mid, that's kind of whatever. But that's actually kind of cool in my opinion, just because it's so many usable cards. Now, we were just talking about some leaks, right? That Rashford was one of the leaks that I was going to mention in the video today. But still, the, the topic that I want to bring up remains the same. We have no Team of the Tournament card leaks at all. And that's the promo that is coming tomorrow. Like we had Holland and we had a Rashford leaked for this season for footies. Now, of course, you have so many other cards in there as well. But we had no other players leaked as of yet for what is coming in the promo tomorrow, which is abnormal, like 100% abnormal. But just based on what we saw in game and, of course, the pack code that we already know about, um, we know that that is team of the tournament that is coming. And I want to look at a couple of those packs here in a second. This is the one thing I did want to mention, though. Um, maybe it was an issue and a problem on the back end from when EA added these cards in the code. But this design here says it's the UT winner. So like the footies winner card. Does that mean that we're having voting again? Because one thing that we loved about footies that wasn't as prevalent last year, if I remember correctly, was the voting. Remember, like, you would get a player pick and you would vote for, like, ASM or Varane or, like, somebody else. It was, like, a French uh, footies player pick vote. I don't know if we're having some of that, but the fact that this card design is called Ut Winner, then maybe there is something along those lines coming back. Uh, but I don't believe, like, the card designs that were shown, like, for Fabinho and stuff, I'm pretty sure it just said premium footies in-game. Yeah, footies premium, which I'm guessing does give the chemistry boost. Hard to tell right now in-game. Also, it looked like there was a decent amount of XP available. Uh, straight away seasonal like I mean I know you can't complete this stuff right away Fabinho is level five or whatever but especially once we get here to Al Weyron that's a thousand XP per time so I don't know how much XP is like really available at this very moment in time but you start off with some decent packs 81 11 and 84 double for like the first couple of levels there is some XP actually you'd be able to get today from the uh the FC Pro World Championships right watching the games if you want to get a head start on some of the XP that's how you'll be able to start off with that. But I digress. Back to a couple of the leak things that I want to keep talking about here with the promo that is coming tomorrow, which we still don't have a lot of info on, except this pack code right here. Team of the Tournament Nano Pack, right? 15 rare golds, three guaranteed to be 83 plus. Here's the real interesting one. Festival of Football Prism Pack includes 11 guaranteed ETG, Make Your Mark, or greats of the game player items. Does not include items from the active team of the tournament squad so that's again like total confirmation that team of the tournament is tomorrow on friday but this is a definite store pack here but ptg make your mark greats of the game icons right or heroes is what that would mean 11 of those players that could be a pretty crazy pack but again it's all untradeable it's definitely going to be in the store there's no shot that's an SBC. it'd be way too good um i don't know how much that is going to be Probably going to be full of fodder, but if you want to try it, that'll be there. And then this is probably like our 650k pack equivalent team of the tournament duo pack, two guaranteed team of the tournament player items, an 85 35 with four guaranteed 88 or higher. Uh, what else here? We've got a team of the tournament regular guaranteed, ETG the knockouts pack that was added yesterday. And then here's the packs that are literally dropped into rewards 94 plus. And then we did not see a 95 uh, plus times three. Maybe that was for the elite division. And it just had not updated yet. And then a guaranteed PTG make your mark or team of the tournament player. Hmm. That might be an SBC for later on in the week. We'll just have to see. Guaranteed PTG make your mark or team of the tournament player. Interesting. We'll have to see when that comes out. Because that's kind of like a party bag type of SBC or a gamble type of uh, SBC from what we can just decipher from the description of the SBC. But anyways... Those are all the leaks that we have at the moment. I mean, I'm shocked that we have no team of the tournament. Let's see if the card designs in the game, because I have not checked on that. Um, UEFA team of the tournament, are you here? The International Stars is here. I don't see team of the tournament. Let me look at Copa. I don't see a Copa team of the tournament here either, just International Stars. So, hopefully we're getting Copa America International Stars as well. Um, I don't know, because we didn't get one after the Argentina game. But, yeah guys, that is kind of mad. For all the content that has just dropped that season, I, I can't stop thinking about it. That's, those are some nice cards in the season, especially some of the big name players. Like we haven't had a special Rashford in a, at least a little bit of a minute. Sure, I know some of those players like the uh, Bonmati had a team of the season card. So maybe you're still using that version, but it's just the end game fun cards. They're all four play style pluses. They all look pretty cracked, pretty usable. Some other big names in here like the Diani and the Ansu Fati who always have meta cards. 
and these are given out for free in the season pass. So I have no complaints. I'm a fan of those. Maybe I wish a couple of these were premium chemistry, maybe like Oberdorf, that would help. I think some people with building out squads because we're also used to the normal right now being the premium chemistry with all of like, you know, the PTG cards and the make your marks getting the extra chem boost. But that is everything according to that stuff right now. Now, let's take a look at other content that we could see today on Thursday. I mean, guys, we still have a Sarmiento SBC that could be coming out. I don't know if we're going to be getting that. Same thing with Zakaria. I wonder if EA are scrapping those SBCs just because both of those teams are out of the Euros and or Copa America. But again, they dropped the Taram and objectives and he's out. So yeah, today might just be a day to do your 84 plus picks, save them for tomorrow with team of the tournament and do your 86 doubles and save those. I need to do the 84 times 10 SBC today. Save that one for tomorrow, Friday as well. I think the way that I'm going to do it is especially because I'm not streaming at the moment since I'm away is I'm going to be saving most of these packs and just sending what I have this weekend when we get back on the stream because at this point it just kind of feels like I open it why not just save it I opened 15 player picks yesterday and I did pack two promo cards but for the most part I'm just looking at all these packs and I'm like hey I've got myself a really good setup for whenever we do get back to grind again um I know I just opened a random 77.5 and I got yeah nothing from it so that's probably what I'm going to do. Just continue to hold on to those packs, especially the bigger ones, and then start collecting the packs from the season objective. Let me know what you guys think about the footies player items. I, I dig that little objective tie-in with using the season pass cards um, to get the objective players that are specific to that. Refreshed mode rewards. I guess we have to look into the squad battle rewards at a later date, but really curious on that icon design because it shows the icon footies design, but then when you actually see the Garincha in game, um that ju that car design just looks crazy it looks nothing like a f it's pink but it looks nothing like the design it looks like a fifa 23 design if i'm being completely honest it looks like not rendered out correctly i don't even know where i've seen that design before it gives me fifa 23 vibes anyways guys i think that's going to be the video for today i'm not expecting too much on a day of thursday content today just watch out for the leaks and yeah i've got all my coins liquid uh, I did flip a Griezmann yesterday. I, sold, I bought this for 2.12, sold it for 2.5. Cheeky, 250K. I sold my full Krugs for 55. I probably sold them too cheap, but I really have not been watching the market too much. I just knew I was going to be able to flip that Griezmann um, after France lost. He got panic sold, and then he went back up. So that was a cheeky 250K trade. That was a nice one. And we move on with 7.6 million coins into Team of the Tournament. Watch out for the leagues. We will discuss everything tomorrow on another video looking forward to a friday and the last friday of euros slash copa america content on fc24 but it kind of feels like footies has actually just started with the content that was just dropped in the season so yeah we're in that end game mode for sure but if you guys enjoyed it today drop a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new See you guys in here tomorrow it's been Nathan for the count and catch you there peace out